Minecraft has been evolving ever since it first began, with frequent updates improving the game, adding new features to keep the community interested. Even though there's so much more you can do in modern Minecraft, I still like to revisit simpler times in the game's history and experience some nostalgia from the older updates. I have always wanted to play the very first version of Minecraft on Xbox 360, as I watched lots of Let's Plays on it years ago, and today I finally got around to downloading Minecraft from the Xbox Arcade Store and have it ready to play the game as it was when it released in 2012. Let's take a look at where Minecraft Legacy Edition began. We're here, we're on the original menu for Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Firstly, look at the background. You can see the original tutorial world, the one that kicked off all of the others to come. And we'll definitely go check that one out after we play a little bit of survival mode. So I'm going to make a world now. I don't know what these worlds are. What is winter is coming? I don't remember making that. I don't think I should touch any of these worlds because I made them in a future update and I have no idea what that would do to my game. They'd probably get really corrupted. It's going to be called Doug. I'm going to leave the seed blank. We can find out our true destiny that way. Let's go hard to make it interesting and create world. I'm scared to see what it's going to be like. I'm hoping we get an incredible spawn as I know the old Xbox 360 edition is in like the same as Minecraft beta for Java and that version has its own unique generating patterns. The worlds looked very different back then. They had a lot more elevation to them. There was always crazy mountains and hills in the background that kind of looked a bit glitchy. Like this, look, we've already got some giant hill right here. Yeah, it's a lot steeper than most of the hills are nowadays in Minecraft. Oh, look at the tips. Collected using a shovel can be smelted into glass. I miss having tips. I remember when I first played Java Edition, I had no idea what I was doing because they don't tell you anything. So what do we got? We have pigs. I should probably kill a couple of those. Oh, and I've just remembered we don't have a hunger bar. <laughs> Why did it not drop meat? If it doesn't drop meat, where is it gone? Let's find another one that doesn't just disappear. Look at the old color of the grass. Oh, and over here, it's quite bright green. Wow! You can just tell, like, the graphics are a little bit different. There's just something about the beta textures. I don't even know what's different about it. Maybe more saturation. I'm gonna find out. If you punch a sheep, does it just drop wool? It does! Look at that. You don't need shears, and you don't have to kill the sheep. They can be spared for once. Oh, I've already got enough for two beds. Nice. Now they just look cold. Let's go up this hill and see if we can spot anything cool to go look at. Oh, do we get the map? Yeah, we do. This is your inventory, it shows items available for use in your hand. All the other things you're carrying, your armor is also shown here. I already know about the inventory. We're very central, okay. Oh, we've got a big choice of which way we can explore then. That is one steep drop and a cave. Let's go in the cave. Look how nice the terrain generation used to be. I do miss it. It is more exciting than we have nowadays. If there weren't loads of new biomes, then I would definitely prefer this. It's just a shame there's like two different biomes. We didn't get any pig meat. Maybe it's only cows. Oh, that just dropped leather. Where am I going to get food? I guess I don't need food until I take damage. I'm just going to have to be really careful. Wait, is it time to get an achievement? No, I probably already have this from playing before. Yeah, thought I was going to get the iconic getting wood achievement. I got that in my last Xbox video and it was really exciting. I can still remember the first day I got Xbox 360 and getting that achievement with the noise coming up was such a core cool memory. And I remember it being probably my favorite Christmas because I got this game on Christmas day. I probably didn't even speak to my family for the rest of the day. I'm gonna kill this chicken and see if that gives me food. No, what? Where can I get food from? I'm just being really unlucky. There's another here. Surely it will drop me something. Feathers. Well, it's better than the last chicken. Oh, look, I always get excited to find these in these videos. An iconic part of old Minecraft, the rose can be crafted into dye, a very useful item if you want to build Mario pixel art. That's about it. It was such a staple of Minecraft. I can't believe they changed it for poppies. I think the reason they changed it is because it makes no sense to have a rose on the floor. I believe roses grow on bushes and that's why they changed it for that. But I don't care what makes sense in Minecraft. I just want my rose back. I'm so happy to see it. Yes, we got our first meat as well. And if you didn't know, you can't sprint in this edition. I'm not just being stupid and walking around slowly. <laughs> Hold up. Is that... A Sky Island challenge already built for me. What? I'm going to ignore the cave I was going to go to. Let's go over there and start living on an island. Check out the water. It looks so much brighter than it does nowadays. Comment down below. That's definitely brighter, right? Maybe. I want a steak. I'm just getting leather. Ooh, it... I might... Oh, I can make my first piece of armor, though. Do these actually not drop meat? Is it only pork chops you can get now? Oh yeah, look at that. That's even better generation. I haven't seen a Sky Island generate naturally for so long. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm never going to need this sugarcane farm. That is such a good place for a house up there. Let's make our way over. I haven't even made tools yet, actually. Let's look at the old crafting menu from Xbox 360. Oh, it's even different on this old one. They have an area for transport, I think. Transport might just be part of this 
now, like the mechanics part, the redstone. So it's a bit different to the newer crafting menu because there's less stuff, obviously. Oh, what a view as well. I'm really happy with this seed. I'll put it in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Oh, I'm so stupid. I want tools. I used all my wood on stairs. That cave is really dark. Is that normal? <laughs> While I chop down wood, comment down below your favorite thing about this old version. Just want to make this for fun. Back in the day, chests were a solid block, like a full size block look. Nowadays they're a little bit dipped into the floor, but yeah. They used to just be big boxy blocks and we can see it's getting nighttime now. Let's make that bed. Is there gonna do that glitch? There used to be a glitch where you would get killed by monsters when you tried to sleep. And I don't know if it's gonna happen. Wow, we got lucky. I kind of actually wanted to experience it. It was really weird. It was like your character had a nightmare. I don't know what the fix for the bug was. You had to do something with torches. Check out that waterfall as well. If I build a house up there, I should have a big window looking out to that waterfall. Stone can be mined with a pickaxe to collect cobblestone. They're not wrong, but it's not very interesting. Is there anything else they could have said about stone? Look at this. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was just a thing that stairs can't be mined with an axe. I thought they could be mined quicker with a pickaxe and they got it. Oh, I think I know what it was. I kind of want to show this off now. Some of you may know what I'm talking about already. Okay, so if I place down a wooden slab there, the axe should be mining it quicker, but it's not. But if I mine it with a pickaxe, it breaks really quickly. And you can even see that they've just completely made this the wrong block in the code or something. You can see stone particles coming off of it. I remember seeing a video about it and I've completely forgotten why the reason was. There was something interesting there. I'll link down the video if I can find it. Look at the cobblestone texture as well. It's the old one with much darker features to it. There we go. Oh! I'm in the clouds. Why did I just scream? Can I turn clouds off? Actually, it is kind of cool being in the clouds. This is what Minecraft should look like. I feel accomplished climbing all the way up onto this mountain. Do you like my staircase? I think it's pretty nice looking. Oh my god! Um, I'm gonna need those pork chops now. You can't even stack food. Let's make a little shack. I like the one tree up here. It actually is like a Sky Island challenge where you have one tree to survive off of. And I'm gonna have to break it down to build up my house. Oh! I need to stop hurting myself. Are you kidding me? One piece of wood off. <laughs> We're going back down, gonna mine some more trees, and I need cobblestone as well anyway. I'm building like the world's smallest, ugliest house. Whoa! Whoa! This is exciting! What was that? I got a Steve Gamer picture! I hate big trees. Ah, oh, there's always one piece of wood I forget. They're always a pain to cut down. Yay! The house is finished. It's not complete without a door. Perfect. Just in time before we go to bed again. And there's no floor or windows, but... You can imagine what it would look like in its glory. Rate my house out of 10 in the comments, and you have to give a reason. It looks so weird watching the world get darker all around me. Why are those bits still lit up? Oh, there's one pixel of sun left. Did you see that? I'm gonna go to sleep again. Oh! That's what I was talking about! That's exactly what I was talking about! The nightmare! I <laughs> okay, so we had our first nightmare. Well, I did want to show you guys. I guess I got what I asked for. I think I'm gonna leave this world now. That was scary. <laughs> now we can go and check out the old tutorial world and see what it looks like. It's probably the one I've played the least. I did make a video on the title update 3 tutorial world. This one's pretty much the same but there's a couple differences. Let's go, I can't wait to see it. Oh, that was quick. This is the classic starting area that all of the worlds kind of had. I have to chop down four blocks of wood. Oh, you can even see a description of all the items. It is really helpful for redstone, look at that. It's really hard to know what redstone is if you haven't watched videos about it on YouTube. So I can see this being quite helpful for a new player. Okay, I've completed the first part of the tutorial. There's always this abandoned shack at the start. Let's look around first though before we go on to the next bit. Let's catch a fish for good luck. Oh my God, it came up. Tell me to press B. I press it and then I lose my fishing rod. Oh, come on. Hurry Oh yes. One fish. The texture looks weird in the inventory. Is it broken? There's the Minecraft sign up there, always in these tutorial worlds. Now we can go through the tunnel into the main part. So it's a very simple tutorial world. It's got a small little village here. I think this is before villages spawned in the game, so it's like a man-made one. Oh, there's a little library in here. What was in the chest? Nothing. Where are the music discs we have to find? Ah, oh, look at the old gravel textures. 
Here they demonstrate some redstone with a lever. Oh, I really want to go and do that. The roller coaster to the castle. That has to be the best part of this world. That is a very Minecraft beta looking castle if I've ever seen one. Time to go. There's no audio for minecarts. Oh no, look! In the title update 3 tutorial world that I did a video on, there was a redstone bridge you could make here from a cobblestone generator, but this is before that and it's just a normal bridge. So maybe cobblestone generators didn't work. Oh, I don't think there's pistons in this mode. That's why it's not there. What's down here? A little dock. You can take your boat out at night. That's cool. Let's go into the church of the place. I think it's a church. Let's go up the tower. We could jump off the top, actually. The generation isn't as good as my seed. I think I got lucky. Surely there's a music disc all the way at the top. Where's the ladder? Ah. Oh, no, there's not. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to jump now. I'm a bit nervous because you can still take full damage in water if it's not deep enough. Oh, that was fine. Oh, no, no, no. No. How do I get out? Oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. That was... I didn't even intend to do that. I just shipped him off to somewhere. He's going to be around the corner, isn't he? Oh, there's another creeper. Are you kidding? Actually, I'm going to let it kill me. <laughs> it took the pig with me. The reason I did that was so we can go check out the other village behind here. Do you see that tower in the water? Oh, no. Go away. But anyway, there's a tower over there. It's not too exciting. It's got fire on the top, but there's nothing really in there, I don't think. And then I believe there's a village this direction. Oh, I was right. I see it. There's the barn. I remember that. It's kind of very similar to the last village, except it does have a barn. Uh, the houses look the same, though. I'm going to go to bed. There's so many zombies outside. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot punching the door opens it. <laughs> so you got a wheat farm, a barn for no reason. There's nothing in there. This tutorial world is just really simple. There's not much to it. The main part is the big castle area. Then you got two little villages and a random tower in the ocean. It's quite cool how far these tutorial worlds have come because if you look at the newer ones, the whole worlds are just scattered with incredible buildings, like really detailed, really giant places. And this is what it all started from. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, let's leave the tutorial world now. And the last thing I want to do is check out this famous seed from Minecraft Beta. This seed is called Gargamel and you spawn in the middle of this crazy landscape with mountains towering all around you. I hope I spelt it right. Load. I think this is it. This is right, right? Uh, yeah, look at this. This was a famous seed all the way back in Minecraft beta days. There's like a tunnel over there that leads into a cave area, I think. And look, it's like a little area surrounded by giant mountains and cliffs. You could have a really crazy base over here. Let's get to the top so we can really see what it's like. We're even above the clouds. Check it out. Wow, what a view. There's where we spawned over there. I've walked all the way around it. Here's a cave under there. Probably got loads of monsters inside. I don't want to go in there. I really love the seed. It's probably my favorite ever seed. It's like the most memorable one because I can't think of any other seeds off the top of my head that could beat this. So there you go. A really cool seed to end the video off. And that's all I really have to show you guys for today. It was so fun finally getting to try out the first version of Xbox after watching it for so many years on YouTube. I'm happy that I get to experience it now for myself. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Remember to comment down below your favorite part about this version. And it's been a long time since I made a video, so I'm glad to be back. I'd love to hear what you thought about the video and your suggestions for any future ones. But that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and remember to subscribe if you want to see more like this soon. Anyway, bye bye